I'm Liz. I'm Richard's partner. And you know, life for me now is actually pretty amazing. But it wasn't always like this. You know, now I've got an amazing family. I've got wonderful friends. I've even got a fantastic relationship. But to be honest, probably the biggest change of all has been the fact that I've now got a fantastic relationship with myself. And that wasn't always the case. In fact, I used to actually hate myself. You see, I grew up in a really rough area in Scotland and life, life was pretty tough. My father was very angry. He was an alcoholic. He was a very abusive man. And I learned to grow up and actually abuse myself. Nothing I did was ever good enough. I became a perfectionist. I hated the way I looked. I hated the way I sounded. I just used to look in the mirror and I used to cry because I couldn't see anything that I found attractive or anything that I liked. This took me to searching, searching for solutions as a way to fix myself. I ended up doing loads of personal development. You name it, I've tried it. I'm qualified in loads of different things. But of course, all of it I went into with the presupposition that there was something wrong with me. And so, of course, nothing really worked. Because the reality was there was nothing wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with any of us. But of course, that's not what we believe. It ended up that life got so unbearable for me at one point that I actually decided to plan my own suicide. Yeah, can you believe that? I did. And I don't know if MD's ever considered committing suicide, but for me it was the lowest time in my life. I just didn't want to be me any longer and I couldn't stand living being the person that I was. But as you can see I actually wasn't too successful at that because I'm still here. And that's part of the reason that actually I do the work that I do here with Richard at the ministry because if there's one person out there who is actually even considering taking their life then I know how you feel and I feel a huge responsibility for that because you know, what I realise now, what I understand, is that all suicides are just a case of mistaken identity. Who you think you are isn't who you are. Who you are is far more than that. Who you are is a superhero, just pretending to be an ordinary person. So, you know, when I was younger, I used to think that I could change the world. But now I'm older and I'm far more aware. I know we can.